So as you've seen already, you can use the servants on the one-click screen. You can just float your mouse over any particular selection within the market and then use a keystroke uh, along with your click to invoke a servant and you can do that on the one click and the ladder screen. But what we've also done is servants appear in a number of different places and on the one click screen there's a special place that they appear which is on the custom columns. If you have the headers up here uh, that allows you to see which columns you have available. You can activate and deactivate the headers from here and the custom column chooser is uh, on this particular icon here so you can see that that brings up all of the custom columns and then you can select which one you want to have on the screen so if you want to add columns uh, you just need to click over here and you can see you can add custom columns across the screen itself but custom columns now also include servants so if you go to the custom columns editor and click on that you can actually bring up the custom column editor we'll pick on a custom column here and you'll see that all of the things that you're used to on the custom columns look exactly the same as before but if we look in the action area here you can actually see that you also have the options now to start an automation service stop um, a servant uh, or stop all servants um, as well so you can see you've got several options there so if we do start a servant then I can sort of uh, let's call, say would help if I could spell servant servant on tooltip switch this servant on and then we can select which file we want to go in there so this brings up all the automation files that are available and uh, you can also see we've got the servant ones here as well so if I do um, hedge on profit for example then I can put on there what that is um, it will go on custom column 2 and then I can actually save uh, this particular custom column and that will appear on the screen. So if I save the column there, then if we scroll down to where we have Servant on Hedge on Profit, there you go. You can see because we've labeled it um, <laughs> with lots of words, uh, that hasn't come out particularly well. So, you know, why not just go in and edit that? To on. Switch this servant on hedge profit as the tooltip. We'll save that again. There you go. On. Or you could say servant on. There you go. And basically when we click this particular column that will invoke that servant on the one click screen. So it's perfectly possible of course that um, we go in and we edit another one and we'll edit custom column 3 here and we'll call this servant off this switches this servant off is the tooltip and then we can actually stop uh, the servant that is running on that particular runner you can see we don't have to do anything because it's just switching off um, on that particular runner and then we'll save that column if I just move this over here a little bit and then we can have the servant off on there as well so you can see by adding those columns on there you could do some really really complicated and complex orders on the one click screen and the way that you would invoke them as opposed to just doing a keystroke and a click would be to click the column on or off on that particular market. So you can see we've added extra flexibility in terms of using the one click screen.